Welcome to another episode of Savage Time TV. I'm your host, A.B. Brisling. Today, I got special guest Snoopy Fiasco with me, all-time producer. How you doing, bro? I'm doing great, man. I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to be here, and I appreciate y'all for putting me New York accent show. strong. New York accent strong. <laughs> That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you know what? Well, y'all already heard then. Y'all already heard. Y'all already can already guess where you're from, but That's I'm going to ask you anyway. Where are you from for people that don't know? So, for those who don't know, I'm from Far Rockaway, New York. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Far Rock America. Where is that at? Tell me about Yo, it. I ain't going to lie, bro. It's like we label it as the six borough. Six borough? It's okay. like the six borough. So New York, it has five boroughs and stuff like that. Right, right, so right. we label Far Rock as the six borough. You feel what I'm saying? I don't okay. know if other boroughs, you know, Because I know, Because I know y'all don't fuck with Staten Island like that, right? It's something uh, like that. I know some, you know, I got good peoples in Staten Island. I like Island. Staten Island. You know what I'm saying? I like Staten. I fuck with people in Staten Island, but I mean, if the rest of the culture don't fuck with Staten Island, bro, <laughs> I, uh, like, uh, I, mean, uh, well, you I know, know people from Staten Island that's good people. You feel okay. what I'm saying? So, okay. shout to Staten Island, though. You feel me? Okay, but okay. originally, I'm from Far Rock. For me, Far Rock, America. Okay. And how was growing up out there? How was coming up out there? How was that? Um, Far Rock is is very different. It's very small, so it's like it's basically a peninsula. Okay. So it's like. You know, you got your hoods and stuff like that. You know, like my upbringing wasn't bad. You feel me? I wasn't the I didn't have it all. You feel me? But I still had you know food in my mouth, clothes on my back, and stuff right. like that. You feel me? But Far Rock, it get crazy out there. I ain't gonna front, bro. Okay, it get okay. Crazy out there. Well, as everybody knows, we living through a pandemic, coronavirus. Um, could you tell me your thoughts about that? Just how this year has been for you? How has coronavirus affected you? Your work? Anything like that? I'm not even gonna front. Ah, uh, yo, bro. Like, I was in Miami. When this whole shit, like, like the whole corona oh, so outbreak. you was where they didn't even kill I was, I was outside. I ain't even going front. But that was before, like, you know, <laughs> like, shit, like, escalated. You feel Florida me? was getting wild. I was outside. And, like, I thought I was going to make it back home because I thought they was, you know, canceling, canceling flights, shit. all types of shit. Right. But, um, yeah, I was in Florida, Miami, having a good time. And Shout out to that, man. Yeah, that was, it was a great time. It got crazy. But um, during, like, the whole COVID, you feel what I'm saying? I learned a lot. You feel me? I feel like it put me like in the drive. You feel me? Okay. So it's like, I it's locked down. You, Pete, the studios is not open. You feel me? Artists, the whole music scene was changing. You right. feel what I'm saying? So it really like put me. It opened my eyes and put me in a creative realm and like I right, lock in. This is your time to I right, really work you on yourself. Narrowed your focus. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's what it really did. So coronavirus has been good because you were saying you was out in the streets. I was like, man, I was out. I, yeah. went, I was out in Chicago, just New Orleans. I was. I told like I told everybody it was like low key the best and worst time to travel because it was like the people that you knew was there was like yo they on the same type shit I'm on. Yeah. So I know I know I wasn't in Miami but I know Miami was fucking nuts. It was a lot of people. I was I was outside, bro. <laughs> I, was outside. I was outside. I was outside. Word, word. Okay, okay. I know a lot of people, you know, was going through it. Um, yeah, Corona really hit hard, and even in Far Rock, like they got a document of because we got a hospital, like mm -hmm. a, a popular hospital, St. John's, and stuff like that. So there was a lot of cases out there. Yeah, it was labeling it as a hot spot. Um, yeah, documents. All like New York. New York was wild. New York was wild yeah. for real. But uh, getting into the music, man. When did your interest in music start? Yo, bro, it started a long time ago, like... Being from New York, for sure, probably. Yeah, a long time ago. So, like, I'm gonna go, like, 2013. Okay. Um, Yeah, it hit me when, like, I was just so in tune with, like, beats and stuff like that and music and how, like, the patterns and how certain stuff just meshed together. And I was like, yo, this shit is crazy. Like, who the... Like, how did you come up with this shit? Right, you right, feel right. me? So, you know, that's when I really started to, like, just have my ear open for it, you feel me? But um, where it originally started, like, I was dancing. Like, I used to dance and oh, stuff. Oh, okay, you know okay. So you were like, dancing. Break dancing dancing or, like... You said what? Was you doing the break dancing? No, nah, not the break like... dancing. It was more like New York culture. We got a culture, like, getting light or light oh, feet. Oh, yeah, they used, school. they used to do that in school. Uh, all yeah, of, like, the hat tricks and the, the yeah, all, like, uh, crazy footwork, the clapping yeah. it up, you feel me? I used to dance and stuff <laughs> like that. So it came from there. I really learned how to make get light slash light feet type of beats. That's where ah, it really started. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I learned, you know, on my computer. That's where it originally started. So okay. then, like, after I stopped dancing, I just took that shift into I. Right, I stopped dancing, so I'm going to still do this, but I got to switch up the genre. Okay, I mean? okay. So, all right, so describe me that moment when you went from, you know, everything you've been influenced with to, all right, I'm... I'm gonna be a producer. Like this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make beats. When did when did you make that that decision to put all your energy there? Um, so as I said, like from 2013, that's when I started making the light feet get light type of beats. Work. And like since 2015, like I stopped a little bit. That's when I went off to college and stuff. 
And like every summer I would come home from, you know, each year, every, mm -hmm. each school year, and I would just make beats on my computer, but not taking it serious. You feel what I'm saying? Like I wasn't really focused like, oh, I'm going to learn in depth, like the piano, how to put certain chord progressions together, how to put a melody together, do this, that, how to put 808s and claps, all types of different crazy patterns. Mm -hmm. I didn't start doing that until the last, last 20, 2019, uh -huh. summer 2019. I was like, all right, I've been doing this for too long. But it's time to get in depth and really like just brand myself and go crazy and just take it to the next level. And then ever since then, like I've been taking myself more serious. People have been taking me more serious. And I've been so just getting a whole bunch of placements and like a lot of things that just help me expose expose my craft and what I'm trying to push. You feel okay. Me? Okay. And yeah. uh when did you uh when you first started out producing, what was the one thing that you maybe just had a little trouble with just starting out? Shit, bro. <laughs> Everybody, even Because everybody thinks, everybody thinks, you know, producing just going in, boom, I make the beat. You know, it, I know oh. it's not that easy. So oh, for the people shit. that don't know, like, what, what did you have first have trouble oh, with? Oh, that shit is not easy. Like, the first time, you know, shit was ass. And anybody who starts off doing something, it, it's not, they're not the best of at course, it. You feel of me? course, it's wrong. But, um, yeah, my first troubles was, like, putting a melody together. Melody, you okay, you melody. Saying? Putting chord progression together, just trying to make something sound, you know, trying to make the sound alive. Like, that was my first struggle when I first, first started. Mm. You feel me? With the melodies and stuff like that. Okay. But, you know, YouTube, bro. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> YouTube, Trust me, I, yeah. I understand. When I first started, my first, when I first started with this whole interview shit, my shit was grainy, looking a certain way. Sound was, sound was yeah, terrible. Bro. So, I definitely know what you're talking about. Uh, influences. Who influences you, like, through producers, uh, people in your life, just anybody um, just influence you with your craft? Influencing my craft, I'm going to go strictly on, uh, I'm going to start off with producers. So the producers that I really fuck with is the ones who's hitting them charts right now, like the South Sides, you know, okay. also known as Sizzle, the Metro Booming. Shout out to Metro. Um, I see yeah, him perform live, he lit. Yeah, he's he's a different different breed. Then um, you got the legends like Zaytoven, Honorable c -No. It's just a lot of producers. But my favorite that really like I influenced was South Side. You know 808 Mafia, if y'all don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I was watching him when I first started trying to make hip hop rap. I seen his, uh, he was on the tour bus with Waka Flocka Flame mm -hmm. with like another producer named Lex Luger. And I was just watching that lifestyle. That shit was just like, damn, they on the tour bus getting crazy. You feel me? Producers, man, y'all, they, it's like, they, they kind of get the best of both worlds because they write in it, but they not in it. You feel me? So it's time. like, and then like, I just started to watch how he moved in his lifestyle. When making beats, like I was just watching the vlogs and stuff. I'm like, yo, that's the vibe I want. You feel me? That's what I, that's what I'm trying to prosper for. And then ever since I really just started taking myself serious, that's what I've been getting. You know, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So when it comes to producing, you guys usually it takes you a lot of places around the world. You can mm -hmm. end up in any room, any place. Uh, what What are some dream places that you would just like to be able to, you know, produce in or work at? Okay. Anything like that? Any um, like special venues? Um, I you know. I love the Studios. studio. I love the studio. You feel what I'm saying? So definitely those... I was just watching a video and I seen different studios of like how it looked and stuff. So definitely studios out in Atlanta. I've been to studios in Cali. Um, but I would like to to gain a more creative inspiration. It's mm -hmm. like probably like out the country or some shit. Be on that. Uh, Kanye West, go to Hawaii <laughs> for a month me? and just log in. Yeah, I, I also seen a, a video of a producer named Turbo. You know, Run That Back Turbo? Yeah. With Gunner and stuff. Mm -hmm. He was, I think he was out the country and he had like the whole setup. And it was, uh, the view was just amazing. I'm like, yo, that's just, he just had to have some crazy type of aspiration or inspiration from that view. So definitely out the country. Um, and just, I'm trying to see the world. You feel what I'm saying? Word. Yeah, that's how everybody that's travel. Right. I'm a traveling dude. Make sure you make sure you get that passport and go see, man. Sure. That's a fact. I had it since I was like 16. Oh, yeah. I still need to step out the country. Oh, but it's going to happen. <laughs> no, it's going to happen, bro. It's going to happen. happen. And once it you happens, it, it it takes off like a rocket for sure. You feel me? Okay, oh. so, you know, producers, you guys are always, definitely now, like you said, Metro booming. A lot of a lot of producers are starting to be known for their collabs, you know, making albums. You know, uh, we was just talking about Young Weezy and Nav came out Emergency Tsunami. Shout out to that shit. Yeah, that but, shit is fire. Um, who would you like to collab with? Um, Let's see, on a, on a producer aspect, uh, shit, the producers I need. Um, Any rappers? Not rappers, yeah. shit. I want to work with all of them, honestly. Uh, let's see. Y'all listen to Lil' Key? I know Lil' Key. Yeah, I fuck with Lil' Key. Fox Key. 5. Fox 5 is fire. Um, on a you know, major label artist and stuff, Lil' Key, the, uh, what's his name? Uh, 
Uh, Young something. Nudie. Yeah, Young Nudie. Young Nudie's nice. crazy. Um, a whole lot of, a whole lot of, you know, artists that's in the industry. From Lil' Key, I see what you was talking about with the Atlanta Lil' Key, because Lil' Key sound like uh, Young Thug. Mm-hmm. It sound yeah. like a, sound like a, uh, definitely um, yeah. somebody that was influenced by Young Thug. But like, as of now, like right now, what I'm doing is I'm getting all the artists that I generally fuck with. You feel what I'm okay. saying? And collaborating, helping them grow. You feel me? Shouts to my boy Eli. Shouts to Boomy Caso. Yeah, we are gonna talk about that later um, for sure. Yeah, we gonna we gonna get into that. You feel me? But, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so did you learn um, on the fly? Or, and I know you went to DSU. Was mm-hmm. it did some? Did you take up engineering at DSU, or was it something that you kind of taught yourself? Yeah, through? bro, all self taught. Like, oh wow, self taught okay. in YouTube. Like when I first started making Get Light and Lifey Beats, I had a friend who was teaching me how to make that genre of music. But when I got into the hip hop rap type of scene, that's when I really just picked it up myself. YouTube, just putting stuff together. I tend to realize about myself, bro. It's like. When I'm on something new, I just click stuff just to see where it takes me. You feel yeah, me? And then I'll just stuff. remember what I did. Like, yeah, so that's how I got good at producing, Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> I got good. Now, that's not nice slip, bro. I, I definitely commend y'all that, that that did it off the, just off the straight, just YouTube and stuff like that. Because I know it just takes, it's tedious. I know mm-hmm. it's tedious. You know, you got you to gotta stay with a lot of energy for that. Yeah. So. Uh, what genre of style of music do you enjoy producing the most and why? The, the hip hop trap scene. Okay. Don't get me wrong, I do I do it all, um, but mainly the hip hop trap scene because that's what I mainly listen to. And it, yo, bro, when you in the studio and them eight oh eight is knocking, bro, nothing it's, like it. It's unmatched. You feel me? So it's like, yeah, definitely, definitely hip hop trap type of scene. So. Okay. Okay. Um, what has surprised you most on your journey throughout the throughout the industry industry of being a of being a producer? What has surprised you the most? Took um, you off guard, maybe. Uh, what caught me off guard? Shit. Let me see what caught me off guard. The the when when you start to like take yourself serious, how people look at you. You feel what I'm saying? In a good way. Like people be coming up to me saying my tag and shit. Like, oh yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me? So it's like that kind of surprised me, like, oh shit, like okay. That's that's key for y'all, man. For everybody knows if you if you're the DJ, like you said, turbo, you might not even know the DJ, but you'll know the tag though. Exactly. So yeah, that really like surprised me. Like, oh yeah, I'm doing some doing something positive, doing something good, you feel me? People coming up to me saying my tag, like, yo, yo, Snoop, yo, bro, I fuck with this. Like the other day, um, my bro sent me a uh, a photo. He was like, Yo, your music in this person's phone and shit. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Like the song that I produce is in the phone. Yeah, I'm like, oh right. shit, all right, that surprised me. So it's like, um, yeah. That surprised me. No, that's Signs little, bro. to keep that's going. Little, you feel me? The, the people, the people that that feedback, bro. The feedback. Mm-hmm. Uh, like you were talking about your, before, your boy Eli. Uh, get to a bag. Oh, that song. How was that collab? Um, shit. It was regular. Like me and him, we flow real. Like chemistry is there. I mm-hmm. put on the beat. He's very talented. So I just put on a beat and he just go crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I made that. Shit. When I made that beat, probably like in the summer. I made that beat in the summer. So one day we was just chilling together, I put on a beat. He was like, yo, this shit is fire. You know I get to a bag. Little man know I get to them racks. I was like, okay. Right, yeah, let's hit the studio. Let's, Boom. Let's <laughs> so once we hit the studio, we made that happen. And that shit be going crazy. The video about to drop too. Okay. I'm looking crazy. forward to that. I'll be looking forward crazy. to that. I also looked at the uh, the Kid Meech. Um, I, I saw that that was a little bit of a switch up from the get to a bag. I was like, he's showing his versatility right there. Um, can you tell us about that? How was it feeling to make that type of record? Because it's definitely a little different. <laughs> yeah, it is different. Like I said, I do it all. So, um, you know, I had to step out of my comfort zone. And as anybody who does, is a creative, that's the only way you can get better at certain things. So I had to step out of my comfort zone. And um, it was a, a fun experience. Like, I know working with Meech, he's very energetic. And yeah, it was definitely energetic. He's so. an energetic person. So... Like anything he was doing when I was making the beat, he was just like, "Yeah, right there, right there. That's it, that's it." And I'm just like, "All right, cool." Like, this it. but um, it was a it was a good, dope. We got chemistry in there. Um, he's a very he's a good entertainer. You know okay, okay, that's so, dope, man. That's dope. Shouts to him too. Versatility, man. That's that's key. And you definitely were showing it with those two records because those are definitely definitely different, but they both vibe for real. Mm-hmm. Um, producers right now um, are rising right now. Like we were talking before, like they're getting more, uh, I would say more FaceTime. Like before you might not even know what producers look like, but it's now they in the videos now. Like you see All they, in the video. They, they, yeah, like, like, <laughs> like they're part of the scene now. Like, like yo, you got to see me. I made the beat. You going to see me. Like you going to see me. Yeah. How do you feel about y'all placing the scene right now? Producers. I, I like it. You do? I like it. Okay. As of right now, like 
boom, for example, we in this interview or I'm on camera. You feel right. me? It's something that I like. I've always been an on camera type of person. So it's like, even when I was dancing on camera, editing my own videos. So uh, I like it. It's dope. You okay. feel what I'm saying? And it's like to a point now where like artists, is, not artists, producers are starting to become the artists. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, if you see on certain projects, it'll be like, for example, Wheezy and Nav. Like, yeah, yeah, his yeah. name is now established kind of like an artist. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. Instead right. of, they need oh, that. it's Nav emergency album, and it's just produced by Wheezy, but it's now Wheezy and Nav. You feel right. me? So it's like, which I, is I, a key, which I think was key. It's key for y'all for sure. Yeah, you I, need that I, credit I for it. sure. Yeah, fuck with it. It's dope. It's dope. As a producer, do you ever feel like underappreciated sometimes? Nah. Nah. Mm-mm. Because every time like I'm That's with good. the person, they be like, yo, bro, I really appreciate it. I fuck with your shit hard. Blah, blah, blah. Like, people appreciate. And I think it's who I am as a person, too. You feel me? Because that plays a huge-ass role. Because a lot of producers, they just be, like, to themselves or they don't have no type of personality to them. You feel me? So I, I feel like personality plays a big role in, like, you'll start to, like, people start to appreciate for who you are and not just your craft. You feel what I'm saying? What? What? And what's a common misconception that you guys have, like producers? Is there any that you want to talk about? Dispel? Producers can rap. Okay. okay. <laughs> Kanye West producers definitely. can, can okay. make music. Like they're right. not bad at making music, and that's that's the thing. Like people get mad. Like I'm tired of uh Pierre Bourne making songs or whatever. Like his music is dope. Like you feel me? Producers can make music. That's a that's a misled conception. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I could agree to that because most of the time, if somebody's like I produce, I'm like I wouldn't expect them to hop on the mic at all. Kanye, like you said, yeah, Kanye, Kanye, Kanye's a, you feel Kanye me? took that and, and ran with it for real. That's something that that's something that people sleep on. So yeah, man, shout out to those people who make music. I know me personally, I I I'll try to make it song. No right, <laughs> you know, got throw the auto tune on it. You feel me? Right, right, right. Yeah. What moment are you most proud of so far? Um, what moment I'm most proud of? Um, like let's let's get into a little in depth, like elaborate a little more on that one. Uh, like when it comes to like in your any accomplishments or like when you made a certain song you felt really good about or like you said that feedback. Okay. Like what moment that came directly from you producing do you feel like that you're most proud of? Um, when I hit over the summer when we touched the radio in another state. Okay, so that's the radio one. Was that's the radio. that was something that was like, ah, right, yeah. This is this is dope. That's dope. Saying? Nah, that's dope, bro. To get some get on the radio. That's yeah. That's crazy. Bro. That and um and just I don't know, just being in that vibe, like that's just dope. Like <laughs> word, word, that's word. Just, every time I'm in this type of a uh, scenery, it's just like, alright, it's time to work. So you like, yeah, I see it's what lit. you mean. I see I mean, what you mean. You like being in the it's like being in that energy. Yeah, being, something that you've been thinking about or even just wanting, you feel me? Okay, okay. And how does it feel to work for yourself? Shit. It feels amazing. Like it feels like I'm in, in like control with my money, what I want to do with it. You feel what I'm saying? Um you get paid, you feel me? It helps with bills and stuff like that. <laughs> word, so, word, you know, word. I get those shit. paid. For sure. So uh yeah, it's it's cool to be working for yourself, man. Okay. I just wanna okay. go to the next level and just put people on. Like I'm I'm about to take it to the next level, honestly. So. Okay. Definitely, we definitely, we definitely gonna be looking out, looking out for the for the new stuff. Uh, but like we said, with coronavirus, it's forced people to, like you said, get into creative space. And I see, you know, the versus battles and stuff like that. Is that mm. something you you gonna get into, like with production, you like know, you and other producers? Like, is that something you've been talked to about, entertained? I always been told about yo, do the the battles, the beat the beat battles and stuff like that, and the verses. I'll get into it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not a big fan of it, but I'll get into it. Like it seemed you know, like it's like it could be more of like a, like a celebration of music. Yeah, you know? you feel like, me? yeah, I'll get into it. It seemed a little fun. Okay, I, I think it would be dope for producers, especially. Though. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I would look forward into it. Okay, okay. And, you, and and now like what you said with the hip hop scene, rap scene, what you're into, like a lot of the uh, rappers, you know, they always cool with each other, they form relationships, but you mm-hmm. don't really hear about producers linking up with each other. Can you describe to me and just tell me about how is the scene when it comes to being like social with other producers? Um. Like I said before, like it all depends on who you are too, because a lot of people they be they want to hide the source, they don't want to put the next person on, they don't want to help. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, I know me personally, I have good relationships with other producers because at the end of the day, like we want to see each other win. You feel me? Well, as far as like the people I know and came had relationships with, you feel me? So 
Yeah, I know. Um, and I came across other producers who just, like, you know, still, <laughs> you feel me? It's just like a weird <laughs> vibe. It's like, all right, bro, like, at the end of the day, let's take each other out of the, like, like let's detach the word producer and really know who we are as people, you feel more, me? More. And, like, yeah, so I got good relationships with other producers. I feel like um, producers should collab. That's actually a gym to get, like, placements and stuff. So yeah, collabing yeah, with each I've other. I've always wondered about that because I always see rappers, you know, they always linking up, oh, they friends with each other, but you never really see, like, producers linking up. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I always, I was like, I got to ask them about that. Yeah, you'll, sure, see, you'll see it though. You'll see it. You'll see it. You'll see it a lot. Word, word. I know like the, the industry, the metros and the south side, they be photos up. Like they be taking photos together mm-hmm. all in the studio, talking about, oh, the next future project we working on and like some shit. Like it's dope though. It's dope. Okay. Okay. Uh, switching it up to a more different category, we're going to switch to uh, mental health. I always ask people about mental health. Mm-hmm. Could you give me your definition of mental health? Just your personal one? Uh, my definition you? of mental health is, uh, you got to, it's balance. It's balance. It's balance. Staying sane because you know a lot going on in this world. Corona, and if you want me to tie it into music, I, I can. Um, I know sitting at a computer for hours, and you probably know that shit could stress you out. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, like I know personally, me, I'll try to keep my mental, you know, sane and balanced. Like, you know, I'll be meditating, all types of shit. Like, okay, okay. For me, yeah, no, that's important. Mental health is important, man. I tell you, that's why I always talk about it on my platform, man. Mental health, especially, you know, black men, mental health, that's just, it's major. You know what I mean? Everybody's got something going on. And I know with, with our types of crafts, when you're in the media, it's always that little bit of pressure. You yeah, know what so, I mean? It's always yeah. added pressure to what you do in some yeah. type of way. And it's so. and, and to add on to what you're saying, it's, it's definitely dope to, like, take breaks, bro. Especially, like, with anything you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Make sure Not that's the number one. Thing. Make sure your mental health is on point. Like, yeah, that shit is no joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we know that... um. Like I said, 2020 has been wild. Uh, a lot of things going on. The George Floyd, Breonna Taylor situation, mm-hmm. elections. Um, won't ask you to get too detailed into it if you don't want to, but uh, just wanted to ask you about what do you think about the state of the country right now? Shit, bro. This shit is in shambles. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Um, I know back in New York, like, I I'd, I'd never expected this to even, you know, happen. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. being from New York, you don't see, you know, the police brutality and stuff like that. It's been a minute. But um, I feel like this world need to just get shit, get their lives together. Because, you know, we in Delaware, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you we know, just got the yeah. president. The president is about to, it's from here. It's, yeah, about to get, it's about to get, uh, it's about to get a little wild out A here. little wild. So it's like, and then you got to prepare your mental health and it's yeah, all exactly. tied together. Exactly. But um, I feel like, like I said, this world is in shambles. And the only way we can, you know, uh, interact, the only way we can make it better is like, you know, and come together, interact more, get deep into the com- community. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Um, and shit, we got ourselves. So like, we this is the time in the age where we gotta really like stick together. Even though I know it's hard, you know, you got you know same shit still go on. Stuff happens yeah, in the, hood, you know, in the community. But like honestly, bro, it's, it's really time to really like come together because it's not this shit is gonna crumble even worse. You feel I me? agree. I agree. I just want. That's why I definitely wanted to get your thoughts on that. Um, when do you think the uh, lockdown is going to be over, if you could guess? What's, what's your guess? When do you think lockdown going to be over? <laughs> I need that shit to be done now, nigga. <laughs> like, um, I'm thinking, now. like, maybe we might get that. We might miss another summer, for real. You think so? Nah, I can't go right, like, the summer with when you think, Because when you think about it, ain't nothing progressed, for real. Like, it's the same. They just had the most COVID cases, all this down the third. They, Joe Biden is definitely... With the lockdown. So I'm like, yo. I need to be outside. <laughs> I'm not trying to, trust me, I'm not trying to miss another summer for yeah, sure. But um, it's, looking, it's not looking too good. You know, I'm, I'm going to give it to, um, I'm going to say April. April? I'm going to say, I'm going to just, just throw April out there. Because I want the summer. <laughs> no, 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 I, I definitely do my birthday. I'm going to throw it May. out there. I want that. We want the summer. So I'm going to keep it there. Okay, okay. Uh, getting into some more things about this year. What's your favorite music that's come out this okay. year? What you been listening to? Um, my favorite music, like as an artist and stuff. Yeah, like yeah, that. artists, just any type of music. What you been listening to? You know, of course, other than yourself. Okay. Um, you know, <laughs> Dirkio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Dirk been um, killing yeah. it this year for sure. He he really did his thing on that. Uh, I know. Uh, Future and Uzi dropped a new album. Yeah, that was dope. I yeah. fucked with it. Keep it a stack. I ain't really like some of the songs. You feel me? That's cool. I mean, yeah. it's a lot of songs on there. It's a lot. But they, they um, definitely gave it a lot. 
Yeah, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of myself too. You feel me? <laughs> saying like, I right, was right, right. just so surprised at times. Like, damn, oh shit, I really did this. You feel me? So, um, man, that's the type of music I'm gonna listen to lately. Okay, okay. I don't know if you were looking at it, but uh, the, the Grammy nominations came out, and I, there was a lot of snubs out there. I just wanted to throw that out there. Do you, you, you have anybody you thought was like snubs? You know what's funny? I didn't even tune in. Like, I didn't even pay attention. It's crazy. It's yeah, a, it, it was wild. Like, Roddy Rich wasn't. I mean, he didn't. Not that he didn't get nominated, but. I think it was like a song, rap album of the year or something like that. And they had, you know, D Smoke. Like, D -Smoke. Right. Oh yeah, I said D Smoke. Like D Smoke, <laughs> D Smoke, cool, but he not better than Roddy Rich. Not not not, not this yeah. year. Not this I year. You. I was yeah, I was like, ah. I feel you know like. What I mean? well, I, then the weekend they just they didn't even have him on there. I then Lil Baby didn't get no nomination either, right? Or something like nothing. Lil Baby got nominated. Well, maybe I seen some, type of, I see some type of like thing on my news feed. It was like, crazy though, like crazy yeah. snubs. I thought the, when I saw that the weekend didn't even get nominated, I was like, bro, that album was crazy. I was like, that... yeah, I, I got to tune in. I ain't, I ain't really pay attention to it. It was like, wild, bro. Grammy snubs was crazy. Bro. But D Smoke got nominated in Roddy Rich. It was for a category like rap. Either I think it's either rap album or rap song. Album. Yeah, because they was like, how did his how did because the box was like the biggest. I think the box was the biggest single this year. So they was like, how he not. Oh. Hey man, it's politics to it. But yeah, you're hey. not a Grammys go. You're not a Grammys go. Hey. Uh, if you could give your producer of the year other than yourself, who would be? Ooh, hmm. damn, it's a hard one. Producer of the year. Oh yo, bro, I don't know about this one. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about they niggas is out you here coming. Easy, you got Metro put out John. Uh. Um, uh, who else put out some collab stuff? Take Keith went out there. Killing it's up. so hard. Like all of them produced some dope ass shit. Like it was kind of hard to give him producer. Of the year. Yeah, which one? I'll probably go with me personally. Producer, producer of the year. Like you got Southside still. Ah, me. Ah, I'm a. I am think I'm gonna go with Weezy. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go with Weezy. Nah, Weezy had a good year. Yeah, had I think he had a, he had had a, a good year. year. Like I feel like this year. I didn't know who Weezy was before this year. I saw that. This but I knew, year. but I knew the, the ad though. Mm -hmm. I knew the tag. But once I seen that the emergency tsunami, I think that surprised people. I think it was better than people yeah, thought. I think it was. I think yeah, Weezy had a good year. I think I'm gonna give it to him. And uh what are your goals uh just personally, professionally for like the next two or three years? Um, uh starting my empire, you feel what I'm saying, uh pushing my movement, which is the show the world movement. Show the world. Um, okay. I'm really trying to take that to the next level, uh start really putting a team together of artists, you feel me? Um, and for those who don't know what Show the World is, it's basically a yeah, movement. Tell us about that. It's um, it's just empowering people who got their own crafts. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm just showing, I'm just showing people my craft through music. You feel what I'm saying? I'm empowering through music. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying impacting through music. So uh, that's just Show the World music, like this shit right here. Y'all got going on the podcast, the interviews and stuff like that. Y'all showing the world. You feel me? Y'all doing it through y'all lane. You feel me? So that's just me putting. People together, you feel what I'm saying, who who got the creative mind, the aspiration, the ambitious, you know, from that ambitious drive, you feel what I'm saying? Okay, so, so that's, like show for creators and stuff like that. You know I mean, and that's dope, bro. And if you're doing what you got to do, you're showing the world, show the world, you feel what I'm saying? It's a whole that. lot of show the world oh. shit going on. I like that. I like that, though. Now, that's that's good because you can encompass just about anything to it. Exactly. Versatile. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, wrapping it up. Um, what is your message to to the young people out here? Because you know everybody's out here watching. You probably have fans that you don't know. Probably you know people that look up to you and things like that. If you could give a message to the youth just about following your dreams and stuff like that, what would it be? Um, follow them. Stay focused. Um, don't worry too much about money, uh, especially when you're young because it's gonna come. Trust me, it's gonna come. Um, stay focused. Uh, don't be too harsh on yourself. Definitely don't be too harsh on yourself because, uh, you know, this type of role is a lot of pressure because you, you get, you know, sidetracked, you feel me, with, oh, am I going to make it? Am I good enough? Everybody has their own time. Be patient for what you got going on. Um, and, you'll keep cooking up. <laughs> yeah, right, word, man. Word, man. Again, this was a great interview, bro. Um, thank you for coming in. Thank you for the opportunity. Where can all your new fans find you? Where can they, uh, um, you know? So... Boom, you could follow me on Instagram at Snoop A Fiasco. I don't know. It's probably going to pop up on the screen or it's going to pop up somewhere. Yeah, it will. It will. <laughs> but yeah, follow Snoop A Fiasco on Instagram, Twitter. Um, you can even find shit that I produce on Apple Music, Spotify, at Snoop A Fiasco. 
And uh, stay tuned, man. Yeah, it's late. Right, bro, man. I appreciate <laughs> it, bro. You know my, my boy from New York, Ray Vince, said, go hard. Right, boom. I was like, there it is. That New York coming out again. Yeah, yes, sure, this man. is AB Brizzy, Savage Time TV. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to our listeners, man. Stay COVID free out there. If you got COVID, stay your ass in the house. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, shit opens back up so we can get out here and get lit in these streets. All right, bet. You know bet. what I mean? I will uh, say one thing. Uh, shout out to everybody who support me. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure y'all tune in to Savage Time as well. Uh, shout outs to all the artists that fuck with me. Um, shout outs to my guys. You feel me? And we're going to keep working. And we're going to grow. Show the world. All right, bro. All right, man. This is AB Brizzy, Savage Time TV. Y'all know where to catch us at. Check. Peace out.